Hello everyone, Critter Kyle here. Welcome back to another vlog. We have an exciting vlog here because Cosmo, my leopard gecko, is finally getting an enclosure upgrade. Um, fortunately, I do have some bad news to share with you guys. Um, my tarantula here, it appears, has passed away. Um, it's not moving and it smells really bad in here. If it didn't smell really bad in here, I thought it was, would be like malt, but it smells pretty bad, really bad. I noticed this yesterday, actually, so, and I also noticed I can't get a good, but there's something in the water dish that... I have no idea what what killed it. I still don't know if it what if it was a male or female. But um what I think killed it is uh just being winter time in the dry air and I've heard that the water dish a lot of times doesn't do anything a lot of times. They won't even drink out of it. I, I don't know. I've seen him or her down there before, but I, I can't guarantee that she, he or she has, you know, drank from the water dish. I have never personally seen that. So who knows what happened? Or, you know, I'm worried that maybe the dubia roach I fed last week um, maybe it was too big. I, I have no idea. Or maybe it was something else. I, maybe it was stress. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it could have been, I mean, but, so I think with this being now my third tarantula I've lost, um, I think I'm going to stick to what I know best, which is reptiles. And unfortunately, I don't know what I would use this enclosure for reptile-wise. Um, maybe young crested geckos or something, but we'll see. I don't know what I would... I might get rid of this enclosure or if I'll keep it. Uh, so... I gotta clean that enclosure out, clean it up, but, you know, I'm a bit bummed out. I'm kind of bummed out just because I don't know what happened. I think that's the main thing that's bothering me is, what the hell, what the hell happened? Now when I flipped it over, I did hear it was like maybe broken glass, so I'm a little bit worried. I'm eager to check it. See if I'm sure that yeah, there is something broken here. Hopefully not. Hopefully it is not.
So it arrived broken, completely broken. So, um, yeah, something else I'm, I gotta deal with now. Gotta go report it to the place I ordered it from and I guess Cosmo's not getting a new enclosure yet. Sorry Cosmo, no you really need this. Cosmo, poor girl. Now I don't want to blame the place it came from. Actually, I, even though I ordered it off Amazon, it was uh, shipped through, it came from Josh's Frog, which is a really great company that I couldn't recommend enough. So I don't want to put the blame on them for it arriving broken. I wholeheartedly, 100% blame UPS for treating their packages like fucking dog shit, like they always do. Which is why Josh's places like Josh's Frogs and other places that ship need to keep things in mind that are more breakable, like something like that enclosure. It's glass. Last tank I ordered from, which was the Crested Gecko enclosure that I have, came perfectly fine. It had a lot of padding around it. This one wasn't enough, so, you know, it's not Josh's Frogs that I'm, that's at fault here. It's UPS. UPS is the one to blame here. I'm really disappointed in UPS, but also places like Josh's Frogs need to step up their game and package things a little bit better off. Better safe than sorry, is what I always say. Alright, my Cosmo here, my pretty girl, who should have been getting a new enclosure today, but stupid UPS had to fuck it all up. So I'm just hanging out with my girly for a little bit. Okay, everyone, it is now a couple weeks after the last part. Obviously, this video should have been done a long time ago. Obviously, you uh, just saw that, you know, the enclosure, in fact, came broken, shattered, thanks to UPS. However, a new one is on the way, and it's taken forever, but it's on the way, Hopefully, fingers crossed, that it doesn't come out like the last one broken. So, the next part you see, you'll see the enclosure getting here, hopefully in one piece. Fingers crossed. So here, it is now, I think the 10th or the 9th. Of March. I've been waiting for this for probably a good extra, maybe an extra month by now, at least a few weeks. So FedEx, it is now like, it's really late. I'm not, after six o'clock, not expecting FedEx to come this late. But anyways, Cosmo's new enclosure is finally here. I just opened it up. It is in fact in one piece and it was really well packaged. So uh, thank you, Josh's frogs for sending it FedEx this time and not UPS it is here safely there's no broke nothing broken nothing cracked it is perfectly fine so now we can continue the rest of the video so here it is I'll get all unpackaged, better lighting, and then we'll set it up. Alright guys, so now I have the enclosure set in place. I did that off camera because I need both hands, obviously. It's big and uh, 
a little bit heavy. I also put the, the heat pad underneath it. Obviously, I needed two hands to do that as well. So I didn't film that, but I'm just showing you guys now that it is there. I have the probe here. I do not have the heat mat plugged in yet. I'm going to do that as soon as everything that I have here. This is what I some of the things anyways that I had gotten for Cosmo's enclosure. So now next you will see me fill it up with everything and and then from there, we will uh, introduce Cosmo to our new enclosure. All right, so I got some paper towel. And this is what I'm going to be using for the, the time being until I can figure out a better substrate that I think will work. I have some ideas, but, you know, none are really... None that I'm really sold on, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, I'm worried if I just do tile or slate, that might be too hot or something. I don't fucking know. But this is... Um, what I'm going to be using for the time being, just because it's the easiest to, to clean. And this is what I've been using. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind me using a little bit of paper towels to, you know, do this. You know, I actually do have... Some of linoleum tiles I might put down for now, just to make it look a little nicer. So, that's something I probably might do. Um, so yeah, um, let me get those linoleum tiles and we'll put those down next. So these are the linoleum tiles that I was talking about. So I'm going to put these in. On top, I guess. I guess. I guess that's what we'll do. Put those in. Make it be somewhat more, I don't know what the word is, but you get the gist. Look a little nicer, I guess. Not the best, but I'll do for now until I figure something better out. So the next thing I got is this rock cave. I got actually a bit bigger than I was expecting it to be, but bigger than I wanted but I actually think it's going to work out perfect so so later I'm going to put some sphagnum moss in there and that's going to be Cosmo's um, humid hide and I have castle right here. I mean, that's really the whole theme of the thing. So, that will go back there. And got this water dish. And that, I guess, I'll put Right here. And I got this little bridge thing that also came with it. So I'll put that somewhere like right here or something maybe. I don't know. Um, now we got to see what's in the old enclosure that I can put back in here.
Most of it will not be going in here, but we'll see what would fit. All right, so the first two things from her old enclosure. will be this slate thing. I'm just gonna put down right here in front of the hide there, I think. And this, what she was actually using when I, okay. So this is, might need some retweaking. Let's see if I can, there. Might need to change some stuff around here, but good enough, all right, good enough. Good enough for now. All right, um, what else can I put in here? This rock will work. This rock is actually a good lookout rock, I call it. No, uh, I'll put that like here. I'll just put these along the front here because it's they're really good for her to climb on and get some enrichment. So there, it's the warm dish. And I'll just put this right up right here to kind of separate the dish from the water. And I think that looks good. Now let me show you guys what I have so far. I have, this is the water dish. That's the mealworm dish. The rocks that I just put in right here. You can see along the bottom here. Everything, this is here. This I'm about to fill with sphagnum moss, right there. This castle, everything for now, anyways, for anyways for now. And so now in the next step, I'm gonna put sphagnum moss in. So this is how it looks right now. Now I'm just gonna Put it up there, take the lid off. Need both hands, it's quite heavy and big. So now we'll put some of this sphagnum moss in. Now, funny story, I had one of these rocks when I first got Cosmo. Now it's in my, one of my snake enclosures. Well, now she's getting a bigger one. Because the original one, I think, was a little bit too small. But well, she was able to get in there. But it was a wee bit tight. And she couldn't stretch out. So now she has something way more com bigger and comfortable. Let me just spray this, get it nice and moist. I mean, that's kind of the whole purpose of having this in there, but also gonna help. It came pretty dry, so I wanted to moisten it up. She might use this as a bathroom, it's okay. There we go. Now, 
put the lid back on. Actually, I might put this over a little bit. that now you guys can't see it now opening but I like it like that we'll just have to have yeah that, that's gonna have to be how it's going to be for now Got a little bit of fresh spring water for Cosmo. Here, you guys can't see. Well, my arm's gonna block it anyway, so screw it. I guess you guys don't really need to see what the water is either. All right. Let's go in with Franklin, there we go. Now, let's go get Cosmo. And Cosmo. Hey, sweetie. You got you, sweetie. Hi there. New digs for you. Look at. Check out your new digs. Look at that. Look at that, Cosmo. Look at that. Look at that, Cosmo. Look at that. Okay, good. Go explore. Explore. There's a lot of new stuff. It's new stuff. New stuff, Cosmo. New stuff to check out when you explore. I actually still have to plug the heat pad in, but it's easy. I just gotta plug it in. Everything's all set inside. Get my Cosmo. Mm -hmm. Go check out your new cave. You wanna go check out your new cave behind you? No, you wanna go over there? You're like, oh, what's in here? What's in here? It's me. Or it's you. You're in there. My Cosmo. He's like, hey, there's something familiar. Got something familiar. Look at you, Cosmo. Look at you. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let her settle in and explore without me sticking the camera in her face. I'm gonna close the doors and let... Let her explore and enjoy everything on her own because she deserves it. She is amazing and deserved every bit of this. Mm. <laughs> okay, see you guys. Well, there you have it, guys. After a month, probably a month and a half by now, you finally got to see the ending, well, the completed video actually finish out. And that's why I have been inactive. Well, I haven't really been doing much of anything else that you guys would have wanted to see, but this is the big thing that I was waiting on for uh, this, and I didn't really want to vlog anything until I got this done. So it's finally done. Cosmo finally has the upgrade that she so deserves. My princess, she got her castle and I try to keep it like a gray, rocky castle kind of theme. 
So that's why I picked everything that was gray, if you noticed that in the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. But most importantly, give Cosmo some love. Because she's the one who's been waiting for this longer than I have probably. Well, I've been wanting to get her this for a really long time, so... I think she's going to be so happy once she settles in and gets used to everything. She's way better than that plastic container that I kept her in. So, there you have it folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Peace out. I'll see you next time.